Okay, I haven't done this in a while. Um, originally, I did this because I wanted to try to stream, but um, uh, my schedule doesn't really provide for streaming um, regularly, so I can't get listed as one of the streamers on Lee Chess. Anyway, so I originally tried to uh, reply to this. You can read it if you'd like, because I'm probably going to delete it. Um, uh, I'm going to keep it on here for a little bit, and I'll probably just highlight this part, delete it. Uh, not not that I don't agree with it. I just I figured since I was going to make the video anyway, I might as well just put the link on here and forget about it. Um, uh, let's see. So we're going to go back a little bit. And we're going to address each and every one of these real quick. I'm going to open up chess space. There we go. So, in a way, this is kind of important because <clears throat> um, it, it was an interesting conversation. But then when, when I uh, look at some of the points that you're trying to make, it's obvious, or whoever, you know, I don't know, whoever you are, this blind man walking. Um, it's obvious that you're not looking at all the work, you know, all the posts that I've been making. Like, you're picking out the things that you want to uh, address and uh, keeping out some of the important ones that might um, influence a decision. So... I'm going to go with this one first. It says, uh, you didn't. Okay. Right, you didn't. So you're agreeing that I didn't say you would play into a French. Uh, you still fail to see how two knights French could get out of this. Uh, this is how I proved, which you probably either missed or ignored, that uh, you can um, obtain a French position. Um, I pulled up the database and I pulled up the online, which connects directly to the, this connects directly to the uh, Chessbase database. Um, it has over, and let's count these zeros, one, two, three, one, two, three, over nine million games. That's the normal uh, Chessbase database. If you come over here and you go over here, uh, let's see. I think the, I think the Lee Chess database also has quite a number of, uh, there's a uh, 2 million over the board games. So in theory, uh, chess base is bigger and I did do this with both. So uh, what I did was I put in your line. Oops. I'm sorry. Let's, let's delete this. I didn't think it was necessary to keep it. So, of course, when we're looking at this, I'm not talking about I'm not talking about um, that every single time you're going to play in one knight c3. But sticking with the fact that the original poster was talking about one knight c3, I'm going to stick with it. So, uh, so let's go with your line. Uh, your line was d5, e4. E4, knight E2, E5. And my point was, in which I basically said in another post that you ignored, was that at this point, um, every move that you basically make is somewhere right around the 30% range. And if you go backwards, and one of the, let, let's uh, talk about this too. Uh, um, F4 here is actually considered the weakest move, and um, I kind of I kind of see why, to be honest. Um, the strongest move is Knight C3, Knight G3, according to this. Uh, but you know, going back, um, E5 is. Uh, okay 
it's somewhere right around 30 percent 40 percent i suppose uh, let's see now in the in the uh, Lee chest database it's considering e5 as the stronger move and c5 as the second and maybe g6 is well no uh we got to th think about the you know the how many games are in there right so going back we have 549 games with the knight c3 knight ce2 and uh, that's about a 30 percent win ratio for white <coughs> excuse me I suppose a 39% win ratio for black. That's not too bad. Let's see. I wonder if you don't have, uh, if the reason is because you don't have chess base. Interesting. Where's e6 on this? It's nowhere. So you must not have, <coughs> you must not have a real database. I, I, I didn't notice this at first. Huh. I thought the databases were somewhat similar. I guess I overlooked this part. Interesting. Okay, so we have chess base here. All right, and I did the exact same thing. So we got d5, e4. So let's, let's see, d4, knight e2. Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's e6. Yeah, see, I, I overlooked that. Why did I? Oh, I see what I did. Okay. Uh, no, of course I didn't. I didn't mean e6 here, because that would be uh, that would be dumb. I suppose you could play e6 and it would transpose. You could you could play e6 and it would transpose. But uh, in this, uh, if you transpose to e6 in this, that would be stupid. Um, all right, so e6 here is where you transpose into the uh, uh, French. And then after e6, most I, I would imagine the best move is there. Let's see. Knight f3 is one of the top. Yeah. Um, d4. Oh, yeah, d4. Yeah, that, that transposes into the ma old mainline French. Which makes sense. Makes sense. Okay. Uh, what does e6 say? It says uh, 35%, which, uh, according to chess base, which is interesting. Let's see. Chess base over here, e6 over here was the 43.5. That's where I was talking about here, where they had 1,300 games played with uh, with uh, black having an advantage and then over here um, e6 has 186 games which is a striking dis difference now that I really look deeper that's interesting <clears throat> and then uh, you do have the same moves but there's a striking difference which is my database on chess base is quite a bit larger I didn't <clears throat> when I uh, when I did this uh, when I did this I was assuming that um, Lee chess had a comparable uh, database to chess base that's very enlightening because I was using this uh, I was using this database a lot I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna say I'm not going to use it. I mean the database is very useful um, and uh, it doesn't change my opinion at all I mean, if you look at the if you look at the statistics, the statistics really aren't that much different. I mean, according to this, this is 
uh, you know, a database of chess base where they have uh, 1300 games and the win ratio for, you know, white is at 43%. And that doesn't necessarily say the win ratio for black. Although maybe if I pulled up, oops. Oh, it doesn't do that. Okay, so uh, knight f3, yeah, c, knight f3. All a lot, a lot of the problem with statistics is is that when you start transposing and stuff, the statistics gets thrown off on individual moves because it goes back to old theory. Like this d4, this transposes into uh, knight c3, three knight c3 in the French. So, and then this is the one that I would be playing most of the time, and it actually has a pretty good result. I mean, if you look at it, it's a 54% rent rate, and there's still, you know, almost 3,000 games on that. I mean, we're, we're looking at the fact that Knight F3 and D4 have basically similar uh, games, and D4 only trumps, what's this? Oh, trans oh, that's interesting. Let's look at that. So, D4 has zero transpositions. I Practically, I believe that. Because it's unlikely that you're going to transpose into the French, like I said, from D4. So, E6 has over 8,000 transpositions. This affects, I think, this score a little bit. Because the transpositions or the the score will change a little bit okay so that's a very handy tool let's see so you've got e6 here and then uh, d4 appears to have similar actually no it doesn't because 23% is actually pretty bad and I, I don't believe this um, this is correct at all. Um, I believe I believe this one a little bit more. But this is what this is what D4 should look like, and maybe even a little better. Um, I think basically what we're proving here is that the database that you're looking on may skew the, the results a little bit. So D4, um, we looked at what I was looking at in my other post was this here. So Knight CE2 with almost 6,000 games is the most played. Knight d5 has a terrible, terrible, terrible score uh, with 410 games. But for some reason, it has 410 games, um, which is nuts. Um, with knight b1 having the you know the third best scoring, and I mean, 41% versus 52% is is quite large in my opinion, and it's probably accurate. So. Knight c2, and we got e5 as being the most played. The reason that this is on top is not because of the score necessarily. Because if you look around, there's 75% win right here. If the score was on top, it would have this one on top, not, not e5. So at with 3,800 games, it's at 52%. And that's not really that good. Uh, it, I mean, I can still consider that equal. I mean, and this is a 52% win rate for white. Not, not any other stat is in there. This is basically just saying this right here. Uh, the, 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 that's the strength that I like about uh, uh, Lee Chess is that it shows all three at the same time. Um, but if you go forward E5 back up one so if you look at this there's a huge difference 
it's saying 27% with 333 games. That's almost like this move here. Where is it? Uh, that's almost like uh, E6. When we said E6, I was saying here is probably incorrect because this black here has got to be wrong. So it's the exact same thing with, uh, with this as it is with the other line. So I, I think I answered your question here. This is where it transposes into the French. And it's possible that the reason that you don't understand that is uh, because you don't realize that this here is a French. It's a, it's a two knights French and all you have to do is play knight f3 and it's a French. Um, so if you go back to the other line and we come back over here and we go e5 um knight g3 knight g3 scores pretty well and then knight f3 um, also scores pretty well um, there, there's a decent sized gap in there uh, d3 scores well but it's only under 541 games if we go over here we have the same statistic almost i was looking at this uh, I oh that's weird. Hmm. Well, I guess D three over here has. Okay. That's weird. So this should not be here. E5, knight uh, g3 is the main line. Promote there. So knight g3 is the main line, I would imagine. What did it say about the other one? Oh, it doesn't have c3 on there. See, in my original thoughts when I was looking at this blind without chess base, one of the main lines that I was thinking was that um, uh, C3 could be a potential. Well, let's see. Here. Yeah, C3. Um, it's probably weaker here than in my main line. And uh, the reason why C3 might be a little bit weaker is because... Um, um, this is the line here. If we go here, and then uh, knight f3 here. You can't go here, obviously, because of the knight. And then you go here and here. So c3 is actually, you know, this gives white. Well, no, hold on. According, no, well, according to Leeches, it doesn't. E6, knight f3, d4 here, c5, c5, that's right, yeah, c3, so, wait, yeah, what I'm kind of thinking is, is that um, these, this scoring might not include draws, it, it might be win rate versus uh, win rate, but, uh, knight f6 has a better <coughs> score overall than um, than knight c6, which I agree with. Uh, knight c6 um, with somewhat equal game distribution. Uh, knight f6 in like, uh, let's see, I think the last time I researched this, knight f6 appeared to be the best continuation here, giving black the most... Uh, for his play and it probably gives it probably gives a slight advantage to black um, but notice I'm saying slight advantage I'm not even saying that it's inferior and this is again practical play 
I'm not even going to claim that uh, that you can get an advantage, especially not at under 2300 ratings. So you saw that e5 e5. So c3, according to this, is about a 50-50 here, but only two games. Um, uh, here, here, c3 here has. 38 games with a 47%. So that's actually a better statistic. Um, it probably means that C3 here is premature. And that's, this is only because it has 38 games. The, uh, the only thing is, is that I would much prefer it to have over like over 500 is what I would prefer to see. Otherwise, I don't even think this should be an opinion. Um, the first stage at which I would give an opinion is at F4. So it's, let's say F4 here, or like F4 here has 170 games. That's over 100 games. That would be a first impression that's probably um, somewhat accurate. But it's it's really interesting to me to see see this. I'm trying to um, see if there's any way, really, that there is a tangible advantage where anybody under 2300 could just get it. And I can't because I mean I'm I'm literally 2,000 everywhere. Uh, well, uh, I don't have enough games in FIDE to claim my FIDE rating uh, <coughs> I mean I, I have literally under 20 games um, there is a rating there but it being it under 20 games I can't and the fact that after I got an official rating um, I haven't gone down once I've only gone up I can't even use that as a logical rating um, let me see here So the question I keep trying to say is, is I don't see an advantage. Uh, even this is what I was looking at when I first looked at this 566 games. Literally, there's not much difference. I mean, yeah, you can you could argue that 30 percent is different than 40 percent. Um, with 556 games, but then you could also argue that if you go back this what direction and you look at D4 here and you see and you see 48.6 of course what I would love to see is what the actual draw percentage is <clears throat> so it's like 48.6 percent not wins is what this is this is 48.6 or if this is 50 uh, 51.5 wins is what is how this was explained to me um, let's see
doesn't really tell me anything. Um, let's see. No. Uh, analysis. Let's check. Let's Report. because I'm stupid. Um, I can't create an openings report because I don't have the big uh, me or mega database. I'm using just the online database. Uh, this is a uh, this is a shell version. So I didn't have any databases installed so to make it cheaper. Um, let's see. Um, What I want is let's do this. I might agree with this. Black has an edge. What depth are we at? We're at 22. <laughs> And this 29, this minus 29 in black's favor actually basically says the exact same thing I did, which is that it's equal. I mean, you can go through any opening and any opening will give you at least a, a 0, 0, 0 to um, 0, 6, 0, and it's considered uh, um, equal. <clears throat> so who cares about computers? Um, yeah this is what i was talking about and this is what you skimmed over or who you know whoever wants to watch this this is a database very large nine million it's a very large database uh, i might not even have access to all of the database because i'm only a registered uh, chess base user um, i stopped paying for the big database a long time ago uh, I could sign up for the big data or I could sign up and see if the uh, paid version does have a larger database but I don't think it does and even if it did it would probably go up from 9 million to oh well I suppose uh, I suppose it's possible that it would have uh, in the billions but I wonder if that would change the evaluation um, somebody could make a video or take pictures of their version of chess base that has a billion games in there to uh, see if that changes the evaluation I don't see any problem with that but as it stands right now I don't see um, people let's say like me and you who are under master strength can sit here and debate whether or not knight c3 is inferior to knight f3 which is the whole point i mean i'm sorry to bring ratings into this everybody likes to avoid the ratings especially the lower they are the more they like to break down the fact that they think that ratings don't matter but when it comes down to it you know 
being able to tell whether or not you're a class player, an expert, a master, a senior master, or a grandmaster, the ratings are kind of important. And going in 400 point differences really makes a big difference. And the lower you go, the more likely that you don't understand positional chess enough to even claim that you know why one move is better than the other. I mean, some of these people that comment on this, let's close this because I don't need it. Some of these people that comment on this are stronger than both of us. And some of them just don't care. Like uh, this guy, Sargon. I might be able to do something similar to 2300, but right now as it stands, I can't. Uh, you know, he claims he can get there easily, but look at him. He's making a joke. This is a joke. He kind of admits it later, but I mean, there's nothing. If, if you throw it in a computer, I bet it would give, I bet it would give a, at least a plus two advantage to black. And the first move is probably E5. I mean, let's take a look. Um, so knight C3. Knight c6, and then f4, b6, f4, b6, g4. So no games found in here. It's literally, it's literally got to be a joke. If we throw on a default convincer, my strongest computer is not even Deep Fritz 13. I can throw... I could throw a, a stockfish at it and uh, I don't know maybe I, maybe maybe it's not all that bad hell who knows I maybe I just got proved wrong why can't you play e5 oh it's because of what I thought <laughs> you know the funny thing is is just the simple fact that they can play e5 and even the you know, even the slightest bit and not get creamed. I mean, this proves that how joke like this position really is. I mean, uh, it's got everything black slightly better. I mean, this is why I'm proved wrong because my first assessment of this position was is that I figured white was basically toast here. Uh, I need to learn still to uh, think of things as uh, more... Um, more respect for some things but you know we're going into a it's almost as if white and black have switched colors and it's on move three maybe it wasn't a joke line maybe it's actually a line and the more better you know it as uh, white the stronger it is who knows uh, maybe there's a possibility the computer's looking at it wrong maybe <clears throat> Let's take this computer off. Maybe if we go back here, here, and we do the same thing. Maybe Stockfish 11 thinks different. Yeah. See, now we're getting more to the point of what I was thinking, which was uh, somewhere close to two, definitely over one. And E5 is the top move. So we know Stockfish is stronger than Deep Fritz. Maybe not stronger than that new Fritz that came out. I don't remember what it's called. But Deep Fritz, we know Stockfish is stronger than Deep Fritz. And e5 is the top move that's interesting that when i went and i've done this before i know i know that this is a big difference because i've analyzed some of my games with this and i really should uh i really should just put uh more engines on here where deep fritz isn't the first engine chose because it really is probably a weak engine the only reason why it's even still on there is because Deep Fritz was the first one to utilize multiple processors back in the day. Um, Alright, so yeah. 
I think that's probably oh that's right we were gonna go down three and where is it all right so I understood your point most people play it hardly theoretical okay actually two e4 in the one knight c3 d5 is also the top master move in Lee Chet's master database as well. I've never met a 1500 master before. This makes absolutely no sense. Um, I I went through both databases. Uh, it, this just makes absolutely no sense. The reason that I said that the average player is 1500 is because that's, or the most people that play it would probably be 1500 is because the average player is 1500 that's why if you get into master play I mean look we don't we don't even we don't even have to bring up a master we can bring up me oops Right here. Overall ranking, 96.3. State ranking, 95.5. This is a percentile out of all the players that are registered with USCF based on USCF and based off state. I mean, if you go into the masters, um, I'll show you uh, one of the masters that I know personally. Um, uh, what's a really good one? I think she was at the last tournament I played. Uh, let's let's go back there. Here, the Henry Gross Memorial. She was uh, she was a uh, there she is. So she's twenty two seventy eight, almost twenty three hundred, ninety ninth percentile. Look at this. You jump hundred two hundred points. You go, you jump up four, three to four percentile. You know, we're talking the cream of the crop here. You go higher, you go, you even go tighter. I mean, there's not very many people, when it comes down to it, there's not very many people that are rated above certain. I mean, you may think that, uh, you know, there's like thousands of people here that are rated over 2200, but there really isn't. When you compare the fact that there's 800,000 people or more listed with the USCF and then there's probably more listed with FIDE, <laughs> reaching master isn't really that big a deal. Or I mean, reaching master is really kind of a big deal when it, you know, when it comes to actual thing. And then when you, when you match them up with everybody else who's class players, then it becomes not a very big deal because everybody is listed. And, um, <clears throat> the chances that you're going to get this crap against a normal player is much higher than you would to get again you know get it against a master um this guy here uh let's see it's it's this one he played against uh right here number 11 there look at him right there 1600 Okay, he had a absolute dynamite start. Uh, he beat uh, he beat this guy here who was listed as a national master. But I mean, yeah, granted, his rating is you know twenty one fifty, but apparently he was a national master at some point. 
uh, which I guess you never lose it. And then the one that I just spoke of, he drew the second round, right? And then of course here he draws an 1800. Every single player he played, he only lost to a master. And this, these two are siblings. I mean, these two are siblings, this guy's older. So guess what? I mean, I sat there right beside these two when they played. I sat there right, right beside them. And the crazy thing is, is this guy here played white. You want to know what he played? Played this. This is literally exactly what they played. I mean, by default transposition, you could do the exact same thing and black can't stop it. Black can't stop it. I mean, uh, how are you going to refute this guy who easily, you know, makes 2200 and makes it look easy when some of us, it, it's super hard and he can't, he, I can't refute this guy. I can't prove that his knight c3 is inferior to knight f3 of any other line. It's an opening choice. Okay, so what else do we got? Here. What's three? Knight b1 is not exactly an alternative. And then say, according to Lee Chess database, three knight b1 is the most popular move after knight c e2, though masters almost never play it. So <clears throat> let's take a look at that. We just database back and we go uh, here. So the alternatives are here with knight c2 <clears throat> being the top one and knight b1 being the second. How do you, how do you expand that? Well, I don't know, unfortunately. And apparently there is literally 549, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 56, 56, 556 games compared to, of course, going here and looking at knight C E2 and then looking at knight B1. Granted. When I said it's not even a consideration, when you compare it to the other moves that are listed, it's better than the other ones. I might even consider playing it. Who knows? But considering the fact that knight c e2 is so much better than a knight b1, I don't consider it a viable alternative. Sorry. Uh, what's the next one? Uh, playing a premature knight c3 is not considered an opinion. You could deny it all you want, but at this stage, it's just your opinion. No, it's not. Watch. Here you go. It is not just an opinion. The best move right now with 11,000 games is 54%. Or I'm sorry, 50.4%. That's not an opinion. That's a statistic. Based off of 11,000 games. And if we hover over it, oh, I guess we can't. But look at this. Watch this area here. This database changes with the evaluation. Get it? So if you look at this, the top players are Mandreoff 
so rapport Lou Carlson here look Carlson is white playing against your move d5 let's look at that game uh, there's a draw Carlson beat Geary the strongest player is Nakamura against Carlson look at this Nakamura against Carlson he plays one knight c3 d5 d4 what okay what about what about your lines oh how do we how do we re restore boop there restore so <clears throat> here we go again we have top players here 2800 2600 28 25 27 is there literally anybody that's below 25 2300 here on the in this top list I don't think I see one and if I skip over it that's one out of like 50 <clears throat> look who's at the top Mame whatever how do you ever pronounce you this Geary whatever how do you pronounce this how do you pronounce this car whatever some of these people are faces that you know every day from everyday things top a lot of here, Topolov drew, didn't even consider d4. Apparently, what if we go to d4? Again, d4. We have a win for black, a win for white. Uh, this guy here is the same guy. He's playing two of the top players. He's got an equal score if we just take in those two games. How can you or anybody say that this is bad when... You have 2,400, 2,500, and 2,600 and up playing it. What about Christian Bauer? He's well known for playing oddball odd things, and he's 2,600. He's one of those people that believes in, in uh, this line. Christian Bauer has a whole book based on 1b6. I hate it because it doesn't really explain that much. I mean, not much more than I knew coming out of it, reading one of uh, Cyrus Lakdawalla's books. But, you know, he's a he, he's one of the people that play it a lot. Has more than, you know, I think more than 15 games based off of it. Look, you got Spielman and So. Okay, so moving on. Let me ask you. Can you honestly refute 1b4 and g4? You never once said that you could refute 1 knight c3. You're right. You're right. But maybe I should change it to... Uh, I don't know. Here, look at this. Forty-eight point six percent, the top move. <laughs> With this database, let's go back to Lee Chess. So we have pretty much an agreement, don't we? That E five makes it worse for white overall I mean there's more draws than there is black uh, you might say that e5 creates equality but you go over here e5 white is a uh, close to equality but he's he certainly doesn't have very many 50 percent on a repl on the best replies you go back and you do knight c3 the top moves are all 50 percent and higher so how is that proving that knight c3 is inferior go back to e4 e4 is better we all know that everything almost everything is 50 percent higher what about knight f3 
everything is 50% and higher. Huh. If we go by that logic, then yeah, knight c3 is inferior. Go to the end of the video. What is that? One, two, three. Two, three. Three hundred thousand games? I wonder what... And if we keep on going, you got four hundred or three, four, five hundred thousand, six, maybe. We're still looking around six. Maybe around here we're looking at seven hundred thousand games. Seven hundred thousand games. Oh, there. See, it confirms it. Seven hundred thousand. Versus twenty nine thousand. I don't know. Maybe maybe based off of that you could say that knight c3 is slightly inferior but better i don't think so and the simple fact that there's literally hundreds of thousands of games more than uh one for one than the other only proves my point that it's just not explored do i like it no i hate knight c3 to be quite honest, if I was stating an opinion and I was doing exactly what most of the people in here are doing, I personally would go with you and I would say the Knight C3 sucks. It's inferior. I hate it. But I can't. I mean, I can't, I can't claim that Knight C3 is inferior. I mean, maybe slightly slightly worse but there's no way I can say that it makes any difference when it comes to class players or experts or low masters uh, I used to play b3 quite religiously I think the I think the opening is cool I like it um, I played it probably the first part of my candidacy to breaking um, 2000 in uh, you know in you in you know USCF but you know eventually I found out that I wasn't quite a my best game doesn't come from 1b3 it comes from d4 derivatives mine looks like this And I play G3 systems. If they play a King's Indian, I'll play a Devil Fianchetto. I've been known to hold C4 for as long as move 13, which is well out of the opening for most people. I don't know. I don't want to make this too long. I think I covered all the points. When I originally wrote this, um, I said that the uh, video wouldn't be more than three minutes long. But I'm sure that this is more like 30 minutes. I'm sorry if it seems like it's long and boring. But, you know, to be quite honest, um, I like these conversations. Um, I don't, I'm not really a big fan of people that are so blind that they'll say stuff like this just to say that they disagree. I mean, if you look through this whole video, there's times where I showed my revelation. I'm posting this. You know, I'm, I'm posting this. I, I showed a few revelations where, yeah, potentially there's a possibility that uh, some things are better than others. And if you take statistics, you know, quite seriously, then in some ways you might be able to claim that um, theoretically uh, knight c3 is slightly better than knight, or I'm sorry, knight f3 is slightly better than knight c3, which I didn't deny that. What I denied was is that knight c3 is inferior like as in every move can be to black's advantage so that every time if they play the best moves black's going to win and that's not true it's not true 
and it's it's actually more true that since we as non-professional players uh, can't reproduce a master's uh, precision we prove it even more because we're in more abundance you know if we lump everybody together who's not a master we're in more abundance and the fact that we can't say that we can refute this or we can't get you know we can't comp we can't uh what do you call it uh capitalize on the uh, uh gains that we would play if we imitated the master's approach we can't do it if we could we would all be masters in some ways i'm looking at the ratings the guy that's arguing with me here is 1600 after 15 games which means he doesn't even play here enough to even worry about what his rating is on lee chess he could be a 2000 player this guy here he's 1700 and has uh you know he's uh given and taken more than most people you know he's had an opinion on it and he's even considered the fact that it might be possible that it that other people are correct that's the way that you debate um most of this is jokes of course knight c3 the best opening that's obviously not serious knight f3 this is a common uh, rebuttal which i respect because if you look at um the if you look at the exact same argument that um uh, e4 opens the way for uh, the bishop and the queen and it doesn't have protection on the e pawn that the difference between them is that e4 is more aggressive than d4 because the queen is still protecting the pawn here and it doesn't contribute to quick development as well as uh, e4 does it's the same argument it really is Flexibility, I, I agree with that. I forgot to say that. Um, what I was focusing on on your on this comment, I, I I mean it's not a surprise I'm replying to this blind man walking. I mean what I was looking for is that uh, where is it? This part here that it's a prank opening it's not as much as i'd like to agree with you it's not 